So we have made a little bit of a detour off to Anik, I think it's pronounced. It's, that was a lot of, there was a lot of discussion about how to pronounce the town here. Um, but we've basically come to see the White Swan Hotel and the, the lounge panelling within that Matt has seen before, but me coming all the way from Australia, I had to see on this trip. I could not possibly miss that. I'm ecstatic. Um, so, take a look. He's a whale, it's Charlie Chaplin. I was just about to say Charlie Chaplin. You know, like, all the celebrities, um, Clark Gable's been in this room. Amelia Earhart has been in this room. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everybody, all, everybody from the 20s and 30s who traveled, who was somebody who was inside this room. I'm just leaned against this panel right here. Mm -hmm. You ever know what the ship sounded like when it was thinking? Oh, this one was like creaking. Now Matt thinks, considering the thickness of this glass, it could be original. And he's currently very much enjoying being here. <laughs> Was it covered or did they remove the paneling? I believe, well, from looking at photographs of like Mauritania during the war, it was just covered. It's very, it's still very difficult. I mean, it's easy for them, but we can't just not. Our game can do that. Push button, push. That's a steward call button. Yeah. Has the button. I'll almost guarantee that's original as well. I know these lights are original. Marvelous. Along with some of the lights, the sconces um, are seen in the field. Some of these have been recovered. I was so stressed last time to measure everything. I didn't get time to really appreciate the space. I think. So I'm trying to take it all in. Right My God. I really need to stop filming. It's been like six minutes. But this is just the fastest way to catalogue this room, I think. So otherwise I'll take photos for years. Last time it was just me cataloging it, so I'm glad. He's still doing this. He's been doing this for six and a half hours now. I didn't even know there were that many dimensions on there. There's a myriad of dimensions here and there and everywhere. Thousands. And we're not going to get thousands, we're only going to get dozens. You're right, this is pretty much Titanic Mecca. wire right behind me. Yeah, please be careful. I'm sorry. <laughs> These little things right here. And this is missing its full um, inward window, or inside window, so you can see where it went. All it took were two hinges. Ah, look at the lock. No. But like we've been talking about before, this has just such a slight curve to it. Yeah, Not no. even a slant, a curve. curve. And you can kind of see it in the shadow along here. Ah, oh, I can't get over this. Okay, a couple of details we need to get.
to the White Swan. We left everybody else behind, and this is my second time being here, which I'm fortunate enough to say. And last time I was here, all I did for about 16 hours, definitely 16 hours, was measure almost everything in this room. So finally getting back and not have to really rush around and measure everything in one day is something else so I can take it all in. And it's just fun to be back in the same spot about three years later where I was in the midst of measuring and the staff forgot that I was in here because they gave us permission to be in the room, but they had forgotten. Or they just looked in and they didn't see me hiding right back here, measuring away at the floorboards or whatever. And they turned off all the lights, so I heard a click. I looked over quickly, and suddenly each sconce was like turning off, and then the overhead lights and everything else. And I was left in the dark, and I was just like, oh boy, I'm alone in the first class lounge of Olympic. It reminded me of what it would be like during the sinking of the Titanic, but right now, being in here and it's just us, I'm finally able to really reflect being in this room and taking it all in. Um, Oh my god, I'm gonna cry again. It's really weird. <laughs> don't, don't cry, don't I'm cry. I'm not gonna cry on camera for everybody, but this, I, I said to Chris that this is like the Titanic Mecca. So I'm just glad that we were able to make this stop and come here again. So I'm, I'm very happy and kind of blessed in a way. So it's, I recommend everyone, if you get your chance to in life, and if you're a real fanatic of these ships, because the staff here understands and they let you in at. I don't know what time, it's 11 o'clock at night, to visit the White Swan in Anik and stay here and really experience this room. Oh my god, why did I start crying? That's exactly what I panned away. <laughs>